Hey guys, so I just got back from Comic Palooza, which is in Houston. It's actually at the same place that the uh, GP Houston used to be at, uh, and the George R. Brown Center. And I love Comic Palooza. It is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, it's Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and not Monday. But most people stick around. And I love having. Um, and these are some of my pickups. I know this is not a magic-related video, so I expect it to be somewhat downvoted. But that's okay, cause um, this video is mainly for my subscribers who want to hang out. And you know, a lot of you actually live in around where I live in, or if you go to Comic Palooza or you go to different events, I would love to meet you guys. And these are the events I go to. So I have never watched this anime before, but the figures are super cute, so I decided to get them. Um, th these are from Black, Black Rock Shooter. This one in particular is extremely expensive, and I'll go into this one more in detail, but it has its own book. Uh, Nan George were very good. So I spent about, including, you know, tickets, uh, costume. I will show you my costume a little bit. I do have pictures of it. I just don't know the technology to do it. And I went as Light Yamagami, and I went as Grey Filibuster. So if you watch anime, you kind of know. And these are more Black Rock shooters. Um, they actually had a bunch of them, and I was like, okay, well, I'll add them to my collection. Although I've never watched the anime at all. This one in particular is really crazy. Um, it's amazing looking, and obviously I picked up more than just this for $600, and you can... The reason I picked the Black Rock Shooters is because Figmas, so they're all, all of them are complete Figmas, they are very easy to, like, you can take this sword and you can give it to, like, somebody else. And I think that's really cool. So, uh, interesting figures. And the sword is, like, so huge that I've attached it to other Figmas and they have fallen apart. So next, I had a Pikachu backpack. So it's actually a backpack and you, it was too cute, so I had to pick it up. Uh, main, also, I watch a lot of anime, uh, and here are my Nintendo 3DS games, where you can get pr relatively cheap. Uh, Double Omega Root Rubies, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Uh, this one, I purchased a bunch of them for 20 bucks, and now they are like 50 bucks, like you can trade it. Uh, Zelda, Zelda, uh, I have multiple copies of this game as well. I love the game. And then Kingdom Hearts, really excited to get that game. Not particularly super expensive, but overall I love Kingdom of Hearts. Now the cutest figure I got was this one. Hello, you can't really see it, so I'll probably make a video where I'm holding up the plush. I don't know if I want to make, this is a Pokemon obviously. He is pretty big and he is very cute and cuddly and uh, my cat loves him. My cat loves to tackle him, that's what my cat likes to do with uh, my Pokemon toys. And next we have Soul Eater, and I did watch this one because this particular anime is on Netflix and was highly recommended. So I bought these ones. I feel like they were three dollars for twenty. Um, so that was a very good deal because they normally sell on eBay for like ten bucks, right? So in addition to that, I got various Mikus, and this is a very interesting story. I got the Snow Miku, the regular Miku. And then another regular Miku. And I felt like these Mikus were different because like I didn't remember what color color of the Mikus I had. And I was like, oh, this one is like green and this one's blue. So I'll go ahead and buy the blue one. Or the one I felt like I had already was... Like you can kind of tell it's a little different, but I don't know like... It's obviously like when I didn't remember, so it was two different days. I was like, oh, there's different variants of this one, so I'll buy it. But it's actually the same MeQ. Maybe one just has some sun damage, or and the other one does not. Now we'll get into the other plushies. We got Black Butler, and this, again, I have never watched any of these animes. And you might be like, why are you buying this stuff if you've never watched the anime? I think this is Black Butler as well. Very cute Mario. I do play a ton of video games. And then Melanie, or whatever her name is. Uh, and then another Mario. So that was most of my pickup. But the main pickup, which I'm most proud of, actually goes along with that figure. So that figure is actually a very special figure because it is not cheap by any means. On eBay, it is close to 200 bucks, I feel like. 
and it also comes in a book it comes in like it, it has various stuff that comes with it but one of these stuff is a book and this book I've been looking for it for a long time not because of the Black Rock shooter there's another anime this dude made Stein's Gate is the anime and this book has all of these Stein Gate like how we drew them like you know this is the artist and like different versions of them uh, my favorite character one of my favorite characters is this one and I watched Stein Gate um, and I knew that in this book which came with this particular figure that was like 200 bucks it was actually a hundred and like forty five dollars um, in this book it was a lot of these Stein, Stein Gate art and I don't know if you guys know this but I do a lot of graphic design I do a lot of artwork and this has been the one book that has eluded me for some time and I didn't want to pay out of the nose for it um, because I mean, I didn't get a super great deal, but I got it for like $120, which is less than the $150 that like eBay has it for. And um, I did, definitely did, you could get the book for $80, but I wanted to get the book and the figure, although the figure wasn't like very, I think what happened was I got the book and the figure, and then I got other figures to interchange. So in Figma, you can change the heads, you can change the weapons, you can change like all types of stuff. So my go and getting the other figures was to pretty much supplement that one figure I was going to get. Like, it doesn't make any sense, I know, but like when you're like at a comic palooza and you're just buying stuff, yeah, you just start buying stuff and there's like no reason, but this guy is so cute. This is the like cutest plushie I've ever had and um, I love it. And it wasn't that expensive either. I think the dude made it by himself. And that's like what I really like. I like to support artist gallery. I always save up some money to uh, spend at the artist gallery because I feel like it's really, um, it's a good, it's good like when artists spend money for to, to pay for other artists. Um, and that's probably like one of the best. I think most of the money actually went to video games. Now I'm not considering, I'm looking at the stack of video games and they were not cheap. Anyway, um, that was Comic Palooza. That's what I did over the weekend. What do you guys do, do over the weekend? And we, I would definitely want to set up some meet and greet uh, to play some magic with you guys, to hang out with you guys. And like anime conventions are definitely a place that I normally would go to anyway. Uh, if there's an anime convention in Texas, it is likely that I will consider going to it and do meetups and stuff of that nature. Anyway, bye guys.